Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually wearing one of my pajamas because I have so many sets and since I've had Mia, I just haven't really been wearing them because the easiest thing for me has been these little sports bra or like these little bralettes because it's easy for me to pump and literally like boy shorts. And so last night I made the executive decision that I'm just not going to be doing that anymore. I'm going to hold on to some of the boy shorts that I do have. Maybe I should like go off of them since I'm buying other things right now because I'm not a hoarder. And I don't ever want to feel like I am hoarding. And right now I kind of feel like that. This one is rose gold and I bought this one from Shein. So last night I just decided to put on something that was like not too heavy. So like, you know, satin silk and i bought some from sheen so when those come we're gonna talk about them but they're more cute and more like makes me feel good about myself these make me feel good about myself too but those are really really pretty so i went through and i threw away some of the ones that i had i wanted to start my morning doing some laundry for mia so i'm currently cutting a washing machine cover that i bought for my washing machine because it's so long it's dragging on the floor and i was gonna throw it away and try to buy another one I literally could just cut the extended portions of it so I just figured that out and that's what I'm doing right now she's still sleeping so I want to hurry up and get this started before she wakes up so I can transition into um, cleaning her up for the day and getting her something to eat so yeah so I'm gonna show you guys that so guys this is how much I've cut off of the foot of it that's how many inches maybe about almost 10 inches Obviously, it looks like it's universal, so it's like a little bit bigger than the actual machine that I do have, and so that's why I even end up having to cut any off. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now. First, it was dragging on the floor, so now it's just right there. I could even cut a little bit more off of this side because I feel like the other side is more, is done better, you see? But for now, it's okay. It's better than what it was before. So it covers the machine like that and then I could like use the zipper baby's awake to open it up she's awake and she's hungry and I really wanted to start the laundry before that happened and her passy fell out let me try putting it back no you should see her looking up at me when I went to put it back she's looking like mom and she's supposed to be feeding me and I am but I want to get this done I want to empty the lint catcher and everything so I'll come back I wanted to go put these in the laundry since I'm doing the laundry. So we're gonna do that and I'll come back a little, a little bit later. We have a happy baby, she's eating. I managed to do one load of laundry, put Mia down to sleep, and now I'm prepping her bottles. So currently we're mixing formula and breast milk. So um, I have formula and I'm doing basically like half and half, three and a half ounces here. Depending on how long she sleeps and like how much she ate the last, the time before, that determines like how much she eats the next time when it's time for her to eat. And so far, the girl has been wild with the sleeping in the daytime. And so before she was drinking four ounces and now she, every time I put it in the bottle, she like, there's a half ounce left. So I'm like, okay, well maybe she's back to the point where she feel, or her little stomach feels like, okay girl, three and a half ounces. And I'm perfectly fine with that, especially if she only sleeps for like two hours or so and ate three and a half ounces the time before. So I basically have bottles ready for 
pretty much the rest of the day. We have three bottles ready. And in the evening time, she normally sleeps a little bit longer. So we have enough bottles for the rest of the day until like her night feeds. And by the time I feed her one or whatever, I'm gonna, you know, transition it out. I already pumped one time for the day. How many ounces did we get? Eight ounces from this pump. Um, I pumped last night too before I went to bed. So there's that. But I basically have her bottles ready and we have enough milk to do milk and formula together so yeah because sometimes i really slack off on the pumping so i find that now i'm not at a point where i'm able to pump every two hours anymore or if i pump every two hours i'm barely getting like an ounce or two ounces mainly because right now she's not eating every two hours anymore it's longer such as that she's eating brown obviously i'm not putting her on the boob every single time because when i do that that's her 15 minutes when i do that she doesn't eat as much and she falls asleep really quickly on the poop, so I don't even bother. Maybe her passy fell out. So I'm going to give her that. Then I'm going to put out some laundry. Jules should be coming over. Is that the nail salon? So I know. <laughs> <laughs> Those are so cute. Oh my goodness. Love you. <laughs> so yeah, I need to make some breakfast too. I'm a little bit hungry. I'm trying to hold off on buying a freezer because one, I don't have anywhere to put it and two, it's already enough things inside of this apartment so I said let me rearrange the freezer and see. I bought these on Amazon and see if I could get something to, because naturally it's supposed to be shelves in there but I don't know. I don't know. Because had there been shelves that would have been great. Anyways, there are no shelves in there so I bought these two but I might have to see about buying the actual shelves for this. Anyways. This is all the milk I have for Mia. I have some more here. I know they said you're not supposed to store it in the door because you open it so often, but they've stayed frozen the entire time. Because when we do open it, we don't open it for that long for it to defrost, you know? So there's that. Because I literally have like maybe a month left where I have to return to work. So I'm trying to make sure that everything is nice and organized and everything and basically ready to go. Obviously, as time progresses, Mia is gonna start eating more. And the more she starts to eat, then the supply will go down. But I literally want to just have enough milk to be able to um, give her life like half milk, half whatever for a good little bit. If I could, if I have enough for like six months, amazing. And you know, obviously, there's still milk in the baby, and I'm planning to pump when I do go back to work. But right now, I'm not pumping that often, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that much. So when I'm on my break. I plan on pumping even though I really should sleep on my break at work because I'm gonna need the sleep because the bigger she gets the less amount of time she sleeps for during the day and I'm gonna need to sleep to be able to go to work and function but you know you you make it work you adjust your schedule accordingly and you just figure things out basically so that's what I'm trying to do here she's back there making noise I'm not really sure why but I really want her to sleep for a little bit so I'm gonna get to um putting out the laundry. Maybe I'll prop you guys up and show you all that. I just got the burp cloths that I bought for Mia. They're long. I think I expected them to be a little bit wider. But you know, they're okay. Two green, two blue, pinks white so i have eight right now i feel like i have more than enough burp cloth even though you don't realize how quickly you go through these burp cloths okay this is i'm gonna hand wash because i already put the machine away i'm waiting for some bibs to come for her those i don't know if they're saying that they're out for delivery yet it just says that it's arriving today doesn't say it's out for delivery or anything so it might get delayed and say it's coming tomorrow these are the passy holders that I bought. They're so cute. I have some hot water going and I'm gonna use the hot water to basically sterilize them before I put them on to her passy. Her passy is in her mouth right now. So I'm gonna sterilize them and then hook one on. And the other one, I'm gonna put on here. I still have the other one that I bought, but like I said, it gets dirty so quickly and stuff. So I, I don't even wanna be bothered. And this is so easy because it's pretty much, it's silicone. things they be putting on them to close them. I don't really know how to work it. I 
they couldn't have found a better clip than this. Seriously, this is so fucking inconvenient. How the hell do you look at Let me go see how you found this on Amazon. I'm gonna sterilize it, but like, how do you work it, work it even? How do you open it? What? Oh, shit. Basically bend it down and it bend it down like so. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna sterilize these and then hook one on to her and see how much we like these. But if anything, since I cut the other one, I really could just cut this off of the other one and use it. Some is a little annoying too, but I guess it's a little bit better. But yeah, we'll see. I wash these with my hand. They look like they're gonna dry really easily and they look like they're very absorbent. So really love these. And these later on after you're done with them, you can use them to like wipe up surfaces because they look like they dry really. They could like wipe stuff up really good. 